Hey guys, I want to take another video letting you guys know what's going on. The car is pretty much functioning now, and then I found all the components that I needed. So let me just go over it real quick. The PlayStation 3 controller, or as I said in my other videos, you could also use an Xbox controller, but it have to be wired up. My little relay on it. This time it's a little bit different. I'm using an Uno USB host, host shield, and there's an XP Pro 60 milliwatt one. I had some 1 milliwatt, and they only had a range about 40 feet, so... I got rid of those and I got these. These should have a range of over a mile and so far tests indicate that it works pretty well. Obviously I can't see the car a mile away but it does transmit and receive data as far as I can see pretty much so I like these guys. Here, let me show you the old one I had. I have two of those. The pros are a little bit longer and they have an antenna but the main difference is the wattage. This is a 1 milliwatt, this is a 60 milliwatt so this should have a range 60 times greater than these little guys and they're oh, those are a little bit 50 percent more in price in regards to these so they're not that much more expensive but i'm gonna try to sell these since they don't work for my projects and then here i have my spares i have four bainbot 550s i've already blown up one of them and they'll run for an hour as long as you don't let them overheat too much so i don't have it on here i just have an led indicator which tells me when the battery is low or the motor's too hot so they'll turn orange the blue light is that it's sending data that way. I obviously have nothing displayed, but I just put the indicators on there so I know that I have good data communication. So that one's on there. And I also mounted this one and stuck it on there. So this one receives data 100 times a second. This one receives data 20 times a second. That's why you see this one flickering. It's depending how it's timed. It may or may not come on. Whereas this one should always be on. And if this blue light goes off, then I know that there's a problem in my data link. So. As I said, being about 550s, I have four of them. I have run this one for several days now, and I haven't blown it up yet, as long as I keep an eye on temperature. Like I said, they're fine. But I got a few spares. They're really cheap. They're only about $8 a piece, and they're 14.4 volt motors, which is the optimal voltage of these batteries. Just a quick overview again. I have relays to determine direction, eight fets in parallel. This used to be a fan, but it got crushed and destroyed, as you can see, no more fan there. But the fets never even get warm, so, I'm not worried about them. They're fine. Again, on the controls, my Arduino Pro Mini, the XP Pro with little super glued headers that I just slide in there, little antenna, and then wires to monitor all the battery voltages, 5 volt regulator, and then extra circuitry, which was for my previous designs, which aren't used anymore. So, pretty much everything on here besides the regulator is unused. I do have the LEDs. Forward and backward, super glue came off, hence why it's loose. You let me disconnect the motor real quick so it doesn't run around my bed. As seen previously, I have steering. It's on my bed right now. Let me try lifting that. So I have steering and then I have a motor, but it's turned off. But I do have LEDs to indicate. So green is forward, and I have analog control over that. Make it brighter, slower. So I have brake. And you can do the relays, and I have reverse. So I have all the controls pretty much that you want in an RC car. There are a few other things I have to do to it. When I'm running around at full speed and I try to turn too sharply, it does tumble over itself, and hence why this wheel does this. It's not supposed to. <laughs> I was going a little too fast, and it flipped over itself, and it broke this linkage. So. I mean, they're all plastic parts, so they're cheap to replace, but it's kind of a pain always having to fix it. So it's a plus and a minus. It's cheap to fix, but they do break a lot. I have flipped it a few times, and usually it's fine, but when you're going at full speed and it starts tumbling and tumbling and tumbling, it will break. And you might be able to notice a mod I did over here. That's a bunch of hot glue, because a few days ago I was running it, and I hit a plastic cone with this wheel, and this entire wheel sheared off. So there's some um, inside components that are replaced. And this did break off before, and I tried super gluing it, super glue didn't hold. I tried melting it, didn't hold. So right now I have it hot glued, and it seemed to hold up pretty well so far, but I'm gonna have to get that replaced next week. I'm also gonna upload a video of it running around so you guys can see how fast it is and how much range it has. So it's really fun to run around, try to take some more videos. And that's pretty much the current status of the project. Thanks for watching.